right, everybody. Welcome back to Bummer's Barbecue. Very nasty, cold, rainy day here in the South Carolina Low Country. So, nothing else to do but make some good old chili for dinner tonight. White's gonna cook it, but I got the husk, Japanese stainless steel crafted knife. It's actually called the husk Harko Santoku. I think it is. We got it. Looking good. Hey, might want to stick around to the end of this video. We might have a surprise, depending on how well this goes. But according to Husk, it's, this knife is carefully crafted using 138 step design and goes through rigorous testing before every shipment. Made of high quality stainless steel to craft flawless durability and beautiful knives inspired by centuries old Japanese knife making traditions. Looks pretty good. We'll see how sharp it is. Goes on and it says some knives are sharp but comes with the cost of being fragile and prone to chipping and oxidation. Uh, Hus believes that a real kitchen chef should never have problems. Husk knives are extremely durable and sharp. Quality stainless steel. They guarantee great performance. We're here to review and test that. Find out if it's true or not. So, for a few things here about the knife itself. The whole knife is 27.7 centimeters or 10.9 inches. The blade length itself is 16 centimeters or 6.3 inches. The weight is 280 grams or 0 0.64 pounds. It says blade material stainless steel and the handle here is supposed to be made of scented rosewood. So let me grab a few things here and we're gonna start testing this out. Alrighty so First thing we're going to try to test here, big old nice yellow bell pepper. Let's see if it's pretty sharp. Oh, man, that goes right through it, really. See how thin I can slice that. I can slice that pretty thin. Man, looks like it's gonna slice up pretty good here. Let's get the edges of it here. So we get the seeds out of the middle of it because it's packed full of seeds. Get that spread open. Cut that off. Cut that off. Try to. And we'll get that one cut off. So, so far with the bell pepper, looks like it's working pretty good. Let's try a tomato next. All right, let's test this out with some, a nice tomato now. Let's see how well it cuts through this. Oh, nice thin slices. It was pretty good. Yeah, she's definitely pretty sharp. Cuts through real good. I'm not sure how long the blade hold up for, but we're gonna keep giving it a try. Next thing we want to test out is an onion. All right, everybody. Now we got a nice little white onion. I think it's a white onion. Oops. Let me put my knife in there. My finger in the hole. There we go. 
Let me take this over here and get the wrapper and outside of this off real quick. We'll be right back. All right. Now we got an onion. Let's see what's going to be the best way to do this. Let's do it right down the middle. There we go. some pretty good thin chunks off this onion which is always good to see Alrighty, seems to handle the onion pretty well too. Now on to one more thing, and this ain't going to be part of the chili tonight, but I want to give it a test to see how it does. Alright, well this is the one thing that I really wanted to test with this and see if it'd work. We're going to hold it up here and... Ooh, I almost cut my finger there folks. All right, guys, thanks for sitting there and going through that. Knife seems to work out pretty good. Um, so, number one, this is not sponsored. I paid for these knives by myself. So, with the holidays coming up, thought I'd do a little special giveaway. Open it up here. Still got a brand new one here in the box. Still got the plastic wrapper on it. Got the uh, plastic over the protect the tip on it. But on Saturday, November 20th, we'll be giving this away. All you have to do is go down in the comments below, type hashtag bummer, hashtag B-U-M-M-E-R. And at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Saturday, November 20th, I will pick out a winner from everybody below. There's a system online. And if you comment with hashtag bummer, that's going to be the keyword I'm going to search on, and it's going to randomly pick a winner. After it's picked out, uh, I'm going to send you my email address or ask you to, to email me at a certain email address and work out the details on how to get it shipped to you. Unfortunately, it's only for the USA only, guys. Can't ship it overseas. But thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.